Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and recently I posted about the Beach Lane refrigerator fans. When I get back, we're going to install these. So I already have a rear fan installed on my refrigerator here in my Airstream. I had that installed... Um, when I had my solar power work done, the, the, the guy that did the work had the refrigerator out to, to access there. So at the same time, he installed the fan. Um, but I don't have the in, inside fans done. The, what I have is the old Beach Lane. The, I have the D battery, the, the, the one that uses batteries. Um, so I want to install the ones that don't use the batteries. And the cool thing about the two of these is on a really hot day, I'll install this one. And on a normal, pretty much any other time, I'll install this one. They use the exact same connector. So I only have to put one connector in um, because I'm only gonna use one fan or the other. Okay, so unlike what I thought, um, I don't know what I was thinking. This is a light, this is a light switch. I wasn't even thinking in the beginning. So I've, I made the, little notch, I drilled a little hole in the back, um, and what happened was my fan worked, but only when the refrigerator was on, or when the refrigerator door was open, which isn't going to do me any good. So then I checked this switch, and I did have a good ground, a good common, and a good power for this switch. So what I did is I drilled a little hole beside the switch, um, now I could make this better by by doing a little notch right here, but it it sits it sits pretty flat, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I used a couple of crimps, and uh, instead of splicing and doing all that crap, I recrimped the connectors, which made it much easier. Probably should have thought of that idea over here. Um, the wire is white; it hides pretty good. Now I've got. A little bit down in there so it loops down because this switch is, is pretty um, um, flush with the back so originally it was hitting so you put it in just like just like normal it rubs against the wire a little bit but it, it's it still can push in and out so it's it's barely touching it just looks like it's it's snug and Okay, so the fan is now connected, the fan is on, the door is opened, door is closed. So when the door is closed, the fan circulates air. Man, that, that circulates really good. I can feel it on my forehead and I'm outside of the refrigerator. Open the door, fan goes off, the cable is long enough to put the fan down on the bottom. Well, here's one of the crimps I used. I don't have a source for these. These I had in my house, but you can go to any, I mean, you probably can go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, and just buy a, a variety pack of these. You'd probably be good to have them on board anyway, a few different sizes. Um, but I'm going to Velcro the wire up on one of these shelves here. And not only can I use it for this one, but I can use it for this three bay fan. It's great on the coils, like I showed you earlier. They got clips, clips right on there um, between this fan and the fan that's in the back of the refrigerator. On a really hot day, the refrigerator should be uh, nice and efficient and not have to work so hard. Beach Lane fans, they're pretty awesome. Once again, this is Jeff. And Jenny. And we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.